Good morning, retail traders. We're going to go over the indices real fast. Sneaky Snake Trading Strategy. Please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. This is a platform I use sometimes. It's called Trend Spider. But we're not going to use it right now. I keep the scanner on all day long until the end of the year for YouTubers. So make sure you subscribe if you don't have access to one. It is has a do it does it does have a delay. We're going to go right into the spy. Yesterday was a tricky day for sure. We had that big sell off in today's PPI number. Looks like the market is going to accept it. I almost bought me a swing trade on this yesterday at close. I thought about it, but I didn't do it. Kind of wish I did now. So we're going to look at today's support. We're going to bring it up to the daily first. Did have an inverted hammer to the downside here. So if it does, I think if it does find, if it does pull back, I want to see it hold this Darvis box like I've been talking about here or the previous candle right in here at 294. Let's go ahead and put it right here for now. I like this pivot point area. And that's going to be your lowest support on the SPY right on top of that Darvis box. Just right in here on the bottom of that close to the bottom of that second crow to the top of that. So that's a decent pivot point. That's definitely a pivot point area. If we do have a pullback at 390, it's been varying between 390.10 to 390.40. Every time I pull this up, so we'll go to the 20 day now. 20 day, one hour, perfect. Right on top of the triple top break. So that is going to be your low, 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 low support. And to hold, to keep it bullish today, we want to stay at 394.45. And then we'll run it back up and try to break this double top at 411. That's going to be the SPY. We'll go straight into the IWM. This has been the strongest of all. We're going to clean this chart up, start fresh. Bring it to the yearly, yearly daily. We did hit that 200 the other day. So that's kind of a resistance level. You can see how it bounced above it here, and then we pulled on back. Try to look for an equilibrium. I don't see it going down here at all in 176. That'd be a quite a bit of low. Maybe right in here. We'll just take it to the, to the bottom of this candle we had on Thursday at 181.63 for the low. If that pulls back and runs into the nine, that's the nine EMA right there. That should hold the trade. If not, we've got to break a resistance level and that's going to be the top of this body of this candle right here at 186.99. Then we'll find a pivot point, probably right about 183.49 for this trade. So this is kind of unpredictable. It's kind of a tough chart to look at, but we're going to see if we can hold the nine. If it does pull back, I don't know if it will. And resistance to break is definitely going to be 186.99. I can definitely give that to you. And I kind of like this here candle right here too. And that more or less hits the body of that one. So that's going to be our resistance to break today too at 185.24 and we've already broke it so we got to break the 200 SMA and run it up top to 186.99 for the hard resistance the QQQ this one here I've kind of been watching a little bit closer now it's been the weakest of all of all four indices that I trade we're going to go ahead and clear the chart up so I can read it a little bit better. Definitely stay above the 65 EMA today. That's right around the 
Let me see here. It's definitely right around 283.27. And we're definitely broke out from that. We're up three bucks on this trade already. So the resistance to break today, and it looks like we've already done it. The 288.03. So that brings us up to a higher level of resistance. And the hard one today is going to be 293.23. Now the PPI numbers are coming out today. I don't think they're going to irritate the market that much. Any kind of pullback though, which would be probably off an algorithm. We want to try to hold this here uh, 65 EMA. And I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and just keep it at the 65 EMA at 283.27. No lower than that. And then we got the SPX. Clear the chart up. Traded this one yesterday in my private account, personal account. I am doing a, a challenge account right now, and I'm up about 300 and some bucks in it. So after four good trading days, had a real bad day one day, kind of hurt everything. I'd be up a lot more, a couple, 300 probably. So the resistance definitely on the SPX is going to be the 200 SMA. That brings you up into the top, the bottom of this here Darvis box, bottom of this box, and the top of that candle right there. So I got a confirmation of three. And we're going to put that resistance level right at 4091.86. Support, I'm going to go ahead and keep it right here on the top of the Darvis box that we've been playing off of at 391374 if it does decide to pull back and that would be a solid support to hold 3913.74 with a pivot point area between these two crows and I'm going to put it right there kind of a hard hard one to judge maybe let's make it the resistance level off this last candle up here at 39.92, 39.92, and right now we're at 39.07. So we're, we might be there when it market opens. We might be opening up right around 39.92, and if that breaks, then we're going to go ahead and run it up to the pivot point of the resistance channels, which will be 40.41, and then long 40.91. Low support. Definitely want to hold that 391374, which is the top of this here Darvis box and the bottom of that second crow. That's it for the indices. Always remember, you can trade these other two too, these other two also, and that's the TQQQ when the market's bullish. And we got to break the 65 <clears throat> on the TQQQ, and the support is going to be yesterday's bottom of the candle at 2135 the day before 2135 and the sqqq is the bearish side of the market so if we start going downhill you can trade it either way you see how she's pulled back real hard here and that's more or less pretty close to a pivot point area right in here at 4449 I'm going to say that's got a hold. If not, she can drop back down to a lower channel right in here. Trying to look for an equilibrium on the chart right around 41.73. That is if the market is bullish. But we've had a pretty good pullback on this. It can consolidate and try to break that 200 on the daily. And the room's pointed out Geo today. So we're watching this one here. I've got some old trend lines on this baby. I'm thinking resistance to break on Geo needs to be right around the 888 area. If we can get above that, she'll go higher. Support, I'm going to use these 2019 trend lines. They seem pretty solid. And that first one is right at 816. Then we got our lucky gambling number, 777. And then, but yeah, keep it in that range. 
but we're kind of bullish on this trade and we're wanting to watch see how it reacts today tesla is another one that needs to be watched right now it closed with an ascending triangle yesterday and we are down here this is ready to break out now i can see what kathy wood has been talking about it's definitely an ascending triangle on our on an inverted side resistance to break if we do break that resistance level and i'm going to give it to you here in a second when we bring it up to the 20 day one hour at 194.69 if we break that resistance we should be able to run it up to the pivot point on the 20 day at 204.48 support level to hold today is definitely going to be 188.48 that's the pivot point inside of the triangle every pattern has a pivot point a resistance and a support level that's tesla apple is on our watch it's also set up in the ascending triangle we've got to break that 150.03 we're right now we're right at it so if this thing breaks to the upside we got 152.37 support level is going to be 147.12 and airlines keep a good eye on them it's time to start traveling people are going to be going out on vacation going to see families this has had a wonderful run i called this from the bottom i traded it up to 175 got out of the trade uh i don't know what to say about it now it needs to really pull back some have a good sell-off or at least a good drop if you see an engulfing candle come in on the hour i'd be looking at that trade no lower than 168.99 and what else on the top of my head china's stocks are starting to rebound a little bit brandon's over there visiting with the imperial whatever you call him the chinese letter x ping ping or whatever his name is we definitely have a nice breakout on this one here today baba definitely have a good breakout on baba right now it's up eight bucks mm, missed that one that broke resistance even on the 20 day so let's see if we can get a pullback on this stock i don't know if we can no lower no lower than 74.28 but yeah this is a beautiful breakout here we missed this one nice swing nile starting to going to get talked about a little bit we got to break a triple top resistance today at 12 bucks. If it breaks at $12, we can take it up to 12.90. Mm, man, that's a mess one. I'm, 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 I'm just shook up about that breakout. K Web also, we've called this one out yesterday. She definitely broke out to the upside. So China is definitely on fire right now. Baidu is one of my favorite stocks to make money on when, when we're hot. They can really pay, be a good payoff. We got resistance on Baidu right around 104.58. 104.58 and 95.65 to hold. And Disney, it's getting sued right now for discrimination against a white person. So I don't know. I, I, we, we were definitely bullish on this yesterday, and she pulled back to the 21. So the resistance to break right now is going to be right around 96.36 with a solid support to hold today off that 21. And that's going to be right around, let's bring it down just a little bit farther to 93.70. If that holds, you could be able to run this back up to that 96.36 area. But there's big money going into this one right now. I'd keep a good watch on it. We called it down here at the bottom off this here huge knife. Now, you know, I like playing knives. That's my specialty. So we're definitely going to bring this back up to the 200 SMA. And that's going to be right around under 100 bucks with a long of 101.72 to break. Back up to the top. 
on the 20 day. That's it for the market report. Subscribe and ring that bell to the Sneaky Snake Trading Strategy. And remember, I'm trading my, op my uh, options challenge live on YouTube every day if you want to learn how to chart. And if you're not that well experienced, it's a good watch. Have a great day.